Some predictions suggested it could become bright enough to be seen with the naked eye a potentially spectacular sight in our night sky. The initial observations gave us our first clues. The object was moving, but its motion across the sky was slow, a sign that it was very far away. More importantly, it had a faint, glowing atmosphere, a cloud of gas and dust called a coma. This told us it was a comet, not an asteroid. The sun's energy, even at this great distance, was strong enough to heat the object's surface. This caused its frozen ices, like water and carbon dioxide, to sublimate, to turn directly from a solid into a gas. This gas then streamed away from the nucleus, carrying dust with it. The coma is what makes a comet look fuzzy and distinct from the sharp point of a star. Astronomers immediately began to measure its brightness. In early 2020, 3I Atlas was brightening rapidly far more quickly than a typical comet would at that distance. This led to a wave of excitement. Some predictions suggested it could become bright enough to be seen with the naked eye, a potentially spectacular sight in our night sky. This rapid brightening suggested it was either very large or very rich in volatile ices that vaporized easily. Scientists pointed other telescopes at it to learn more. They used a technique called spectroscopy, where they break the light from the comet's coma into its constituent colors, like a rainbow. This spectrum reveals the chemical fingerprints of the molecules present. The initial spectra confirm the presence of chemicals we expect in comets, like cyanide gas. This sounds alarming, but it's a very common molecule in comets and exists in extremely low concentrations, posing no threat to us. The key takeaway was that, chemically, it looked like a comet. However, its behavior was odd. The extreme rate at which it was brightening was a puzzle. Was this a sign of its interstellar origin, perhaps indicating a composition we had never seen before? Or was it a sign of something else, a clue that this object was not as stable as it appeared? These first observations gave us a tantalizing look at our visitor, but they also raised the first of many questions.